Welcome. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use Source Module's new reverse search feature. If you want to find this feature, you go to Start Search and then go to Reverse Search right here. And here you either put a single ASIN, you can put one single ASIN number, or preferably you're going to drop off a huge list of ASIN numbers in the bulk feature right here. But of course, to begin the reverse search, we need something to search for. So what we're going to try to find first is competitors that are known online arbitragers, and then we're gonna look at their storefront, and we're gonna extract all their ASIN numbers. For that, I'm gonna run a regular search, going to here by retailer, and one retailer that has been extremely good lately has been Walgreens because they are offering, as you can see, they are offering 20% off of their entire website with code FRIENDS20. That's been happening for the last week or so. So I'm going to try to find some good products using Source Mogul's regular search by searching Walgreens. But before doing that, I need to adjust right here. I'm going to adjust I'm going to go to Walgreens and I'm going to adjust the discount level. So as you see, I'm on Walgreens and I put 20% discount and I, I click save. And now I just selected that one and I'm going to search selected. And now Source Mogul is going to start searching that. By the way, if you want to try Source Mogul, you can do so through my link on the video description and you're going to be able to try it for 10 days not the usual seven days, so you get an extra three days completely for free. So again, in the video description, you're going to find my link, click on that, and you will automatically be able to try Source Module for free for 10 days. By the way, if you're also interested in, in me sourcing online arbitrage leads for you, you should definitely try my OA leads. And again, the link is on the video description, or you can go to this website right here, and you'll check out all the details on my OA leads. So now that the search completed, you're gonna go to completed searches, and I already have um, a predetermined filter right here that I'm using. I already explained the settings on my filter in another video, so if you're interested in that, go look at my other source module videos, and we're gonna start going through the results. Now, the first thing that you want to discard when you're looking at results is something that is not matching the pictures, you completely disregard. But if it is matching the pictures, you're going to click on one and then click on the other one to open new windows. So just on the fifth or sixth result, we found a pretty decent match right here. These are the same products. And I check because I click on the UPC from the Amazon listing. And then what I do with Walgreens, I find Walgreens always omits the last digit of the UPC. So put Command F or Control F with the UPC number and then remove the last digit. And if it matches, you have the perfect match, which is this. And obviously we can get it for $8 plus the 20% discount. It's going to be a $5 profit on this product. But what's more important that we were wanting to see is we want to find some good online arbitrage sellers that we can extract their listings from their store from. That way we can put it in our reverse search in source module. So what we're going to do is here on seller amp, which by the way, if you don't have seller amp, you have a link on my video description to get a 14 day free trial plus added discounts with my link. So you should check it out. It's my go to tool seller amp to calculate profitability. So what we're going to do is open, uh, let's say the the FBA sellers on different tabs by just clicking on them. And ideally we want to look for FBA sellers with a ton of ratings. For example, this one has 489 ratings, which tells me that they have a lot of product and they've been selling for a while. So for example, here 
uh, we can see that this seller has 825 ASINs in their storefront, 825 ASINs. So they have a lot of ASINs. And via Seller Amp, uh, we can quickly go down and check out if this is a seller that we would be interested in copying all their ASINs from and putting those in the reverse search. So we're gonna load more results and we can immediately, immediately see that a lot of his listings has Amazon on the listing. When you see Amazon right here, it means that Amazon is selling on all these listings, which is bad. You don't want to see that. However, there are some listings that Amazon is not in. However, it seems that this seller is focusing a lot on DVDs or listings that has Amazon on them. So we are not going to include them. So we're going to continue going down source module to see what other profitable items we find with a regular search to see if we can extract good online arbitrage sellers that we can spy on. So here we found another good listing. Uh, so you can see the uh, UPC matches perfectly the one on Amazon. It is selling for $20.99. So we plug that in and put the 20% discount and it's barely profitable. I would not include this as a profitable lead or a profitable product, but what we see is that some good FBA sellers are here. So we're going to spy on them right now. As you see, this one has 17,000 ratings. This one has 86,000 ratings. And this seller is actually an example of what to look for. As you can see, some of his listings do have Amazon on them, but some of them don't. And for example, this product, we could potentially find a profitable product as long as is $10.66 under the price, then we would find it as a profitable product. And I can see that a lot of his products are in that range. $12, $43, no Amazon on the listing. This is a product that we found before. And I like to see that he focuses a lot on vitamins and a lot of pharmaceutical because those are very profitable categories. So he is having the same mindset that I am, meaning that he's a good online arbitrager. So as you can see, this is somebody we really definitely want to extract older listings from and do a, a nice reverse search. So we're going to do exactly that. So to do that, you're going to, you can easily find his seller, his seller ID on the URL of his storefront. And to do that, you would just first click on seller itself on seller central that would open up on this tab right here. And here you have the URL of his storefront. So your next step, once you have that information, is you're going to open Keepa and you're going to go here under Data. Go to Data and go to Product Finder. And here, very simply, you're going to scroll down. You're going to scroll down until you see this area right here, Seller. And here's where you're going to put that Seller ID that we were talking about before. So you're going to grab this seller ID right here, go back to Keepa and put it right there. And as you see, Keepa will tell you that my current filter matches 56 products, 56 ASINs. Now, if you want to put multiple seller IDs, you just need to separate them with a comma, which is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go to this other seller that we also found. We're going to grab his seller ID. We're going to put a comma here and then this other seller ID. And as you can see, my ASIN count increased from 50 something to 78. And we can keep doing that. The more sellers that you're able to spy on and extract the seller IDs and put them here, the more ASINs you're going to have that you can feed source module. So once you have enough, right now I'm not going to keep going because this is just an example. You click on Find Products 
and Kipa is going to start doing its magic. A lot of people just use Kipa as an analysis tool and they forget that Kipa is extremely powerful to extract actually information to spy with. If you have more than 100 rows, which in this case I don't, I only have 78 rows, but if you were to have more than 100 rows, you would go here and you would put up to 5,000, that you want to see up to 5,000 rows. So once you have all the information, you go here and you hit export. And you want to export this in, you want to export only the AC numbers and as a CSV file. Now we're in the reverse search module or feature in source module. Now source module is a little bit picky on how they want to structure their CSV files. And I'll show you an example right now. You can download an example of how they wanted a structure right here. And as you can see, they want a structure with one column and ASIN, no capital letters. And the file that I downloaded from Kipa has ASIN all in capital letters. So it's a, a minor change. You would just put ASIN, no caps, and then resave it. So once you have received it, you can upload it into the CSV file area and then tag it right here with ASIN and then you start the search. And now source module will quickly go through all the 70 something ASINs that we provided them and they will, as you can see, it's already complete. So we're going to go to my completed searches and view. And now we're going to go through the results to see if the reverse search was able to deliver some great results for us. Now, an important note on reverse searches, it will limit you upload your list of ASIN numbers and source module will cross reference all those ASIN numbers with, with their own database of retailers, which is the following one, all these retailers. So they will, the AC numbers that you provided, they will try to find them in all of these suppliers. And if they do find them, you will see them in the results. It's very different versus the Google Chrome extension that I already covered in some of my other videos, where you can pretty much tag any website, even if they are not in their database, and you can search on their database. So here we are doing something completely different on automation, but the limitation is that we are limited to the suppliers that are already available in source modules database, which are, is pretty ex extent, but uh, some of the websites may, may not be there. So this is one product, for example, that they found, and it's in the site VitaCoast and it's A99. It is a matching product because we grabbed the UPC from VitaCost and we can see that it's in the UPC list that are associated with this listing. However, the price is a little bit too high. It, it is lower than the current buy box, which is 2069, which you can definitely make a profit on. But I like to use the lowest FBA as my reference price. So I would put, for example, 1579, in which case we're at break even. So it's a little bit past my comfort zone in terms of profitability. Yes, it, it would definitely be profitable, especially at a, it has high sales velocity, but it wouldn't be a product that I'm buying or that I'm including in one of my lists, for example. Now this product is pretty nice. Uh, it is a matching product, and uh, but I see, unfortunately, it's a pack of two. As we can see right here, package quantity two, and you can also see the same information. If you go to Kipa and go to data and product details, and you will see it right here, pack of two. So this is unfortunately not profitable. And the same with this uh, case right here, it's pack of two. So this would not be profitable. And unfortunately, those are the only results that we got from that very limited 
70 something ASIN list, but imagine if you fed source module a list of tens of thousands of ASIN numbers, which wouldn't be too hard to compile. If you're able to quickly spy on good online arbitrage sellers that have thousands of listings in their storefronts and using Keepa, like I showed you, in one run, you can search for them and export that list and then upload it into source module. And the more listings you upload into source modules, the more results you're going to get. Again, this was just for demo. In this case, we did not find a product to show you, unfortunately, but I have no doubt in my mind that you are able, as I have been, going to be able to find really good profitable products using the reverse search feature of source module. I hope you like this tutorial and don't forget that you can get a 10 day free trial of source module by going on my link on my video description. That way you can try it absolutely for free. And also if you're interested in getting online arbitrage leads for yourself that I provide and I source myself every single morning, you can do so by going to this website and also on the link on the video description. Again, I hope you like this video. I hope you learned something. I'm going to leave you with this other video right here that I think you're going to benefit a lot from. Also, don't forget to comment under this video any question that you may have. I'm doing a giveaway of one lead to people that comment picked up a random. So if you're one of the commenters, you might get one completely free lead from me. Also make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That way you are alerted on future videos that I release. And I hope you all the best and success in your Amazon business. Keep up the great work.